No, it's June 23rd, and it's probably about, you know, it's after 8 o'clock in uh, the evening. And I just got home a little while ago from setting a couple loads of traps. And I wanted to check on my hinges on them because it's kind of cool. But, yeah, you go for a day, and of course, she was good for the first couple days, you know, about being neat. Now she started scratching the water and feed her all up full of, full of stuff. So hold on just a second. I'll... Give her some new water. Mix everything up. I bet they're thirsty. Yeah. Thirsty, I don't know how long ago you plugged that all up, but they're thirsty. Hungry too. Let me get it to food. I'll give you that for tomorrow. Let's see. Leave. I'll be leaving early. Try to haul some traps tomorrow. Yeah. Well, let's see what she's got in there. She's a little tiny hen that <clears throat> her and her sister and her brother were born real late in the year last year and they never really grew to the size of the others. But so far she's been a real good mother. I only gave her four eggs. I put two. She won't get back. I mean she won't, won't let me see him. Come on, come here. Come here. She's got two little Merns chicks and two little mountain chicks. And they're only a couple days old, but so far they're, they're doing good and she's been real good with them. So, I won't disrupt them anymore. Look at the baby. Look at the baby small fries. Look at the little Merlin's munchkin. Huh? Look at him. Huh? Look, he likes the camera. Mountains aren't quite so curious. They're a little more scared. Merns are tame. Merns chicks are tame for quite a while. That's what I like about them. But, yeah. yeah. There goes a mountain weeble. I have weebles. There's mountain weebles and tater tots. Right now, as of you know, I had another little hatch from Murren's la uh, Mountains last night, and I think there was 17. And, and I've got a Murren's hatch. Clutch of eggs, anyway, that I'm going to be putting in the hatch in a couple of days. I think there's about 18 or 20 eggs. There's a mountain weevil sneaking around in there. Yeah. Okay guys, I'll leave you alone. And the mountains are still laying. I just gathered these three eggs. I just put them aside for now. But, but I got no ideas. You know, the fertility is about to end pretty quick in the egg production. It's uh, that time of year, end of June in, in Maine. That's when they usually get done I stick this in this empty cage for for the night and don't eat their food that's theirs you got your own pellets look at the little one drink look at the little small fry drink it's thirsty yeah, it's smart a lot of people think that they need to be taught to eat and drink you gotta put a teacher chick in there or dip their beaks and and the food and water, that's, that's hot shit. Christ, I, I never had a Merns that didn't take to eating on their own or, and drinking. I don't know, maybe way back when the people first started having them, took them out of, you know, real wild stock, I don't know. But at least one of these Merns has, the father is a, male from the wild, a F1 male. Um, and I've got more of those eggs in the, in the incubator. 
So I'm gonna, I got a hundred people, well more than a hundred, probably two hundred people all begging me for for Merns and I'm not gonna be able to help many of them because there's a few people I have got, to, I, I owe them something, you know, uh, so I, feel, I kind of feel obligated to make sure that they have some, but uh, the rest of the people are just going to have to wait another year. This is uh, Kevin. He's a Canadian male. And this is his hen, Peewee, which is one of my older hens. And she laid a nice egg. And they've been... They've been all fertile, haven't they, Kevin? Kevin, you're so handsome. If I were as handsome as Kevin, all the hens would like me. A peewee. Yeah. I forgot to bring my egg flat out. I'm gonna go get that. End up cracking an egg and dropping them all. Yeah, can't do that. These are uh, some pretty high-end eggs. And then that's Anna with Digger. That, that Digger there. He he is the wild F1 male. She stopped laying for a bit. I think he's breeding her too much, and and uh, she needs a break. So. I'm gonna go get that egg flat. I think I left one in here. Yeah. Bruder shed's getting all messed up again. I got. Yeah. Oh, what did I do with that? Ah, oh, Christ, I thought I had. Could have sworn I left that goddamn thing in here. Yeah. I'll put them in this box of shavings for a bit. I gotta write her name on that egg. So I won't forget which one it came from. And at the same time, I gotta I got some young mountains in here. And this one. That, that, not that one. This one. That still can get a little cool at night, so I like to I'll give them some night heat for a little while longer and uh i'll leave that it what the hell i to do with it um no i do have a pencil i'll use this for now i get a pencil out in some of those Merrin's cages so yeah but i get that little there's plenty of some odd 30 mountain quail chicks right there they're probably about oh i'm guessing three weeks they got all the wing feathers and getting little plumes on them they turn the lights off during the day, as you just saw. That, <laughs> so they uh, try to toughen them up, you know. That one just shit. Uh, toughen them up, wean them, wean them off it slowly. Just give it to them on the cool nights. We were having some hot nights for a while, but not anymore. Feels like fall, for Christ's sake. Uh, yeah. So, went, went down below earlier and brown clown laid an egg. This is Hoppy. I don't know if she laid today or not. I gotta grab that pencil. Where's my pencil? Huh? Um, check you while I'm at it. This is Diane. That's Larry. That's no, just a the dummy egg. She didn't lay today. She's been laying real good. I can't complain with her. She usually lays it in the box too, so yeah, I think she's laid about four or five days in a row, so I guess it's a day off. Look at him. So handsome. Funny, I take these videos and you know, I'm not bragging, but this is a pretty nice setup. I mean, I've seen better, but uh, you know, and I'll put them on Facebook or 
YouTube page. I'll put a link to Facebook and Ida Ida didn't play today either. She's been laying good. Uh And I'll get a handful of likes, maybe a comment or two. And somebody will put a crappy little black and white picture of a bird in a dirty pen, and they'll get about 40 or 50 likes on their on their pay, on their post. I don't understand people. How oh, their minds work, but... How oh, about you? Now that's the... That's a half... Male... Uh, male is half Mexican stock, uh, and half Canadian stock is what he is. And, uh, change your water. It's getting a little... A little bit of algae growing in it. When it's a little green, that's okay. They say that's actually good for him, but when it starts... You know, getting to turn red, you want to get that the hell out of there, change it. I, I just, uh, I got a bucket of bleach water, and I do them every week. I, I rotate, and I get others. See, did I, did I check you, Hoppy? Is that, that was just a dummy egg, right? So, I only got one egg, uh, one egg this morning, and, and this one just a little while ago out of uh, Pee Wee. The brown clown and peewee. Only two eggs today. But tomorrow I'll probably have five or six. So, well, good enough. I'll, uh, oh, one more thing. I'll, uh, oh, I gotta check this. I got a pair of Bensons that's been laying early. Earliest pair I've ever had lay. Uh, I've had this pair for they're probably four or five years old. She didn't lay one, no, did she? I don't feel one in there. No, there's nothing in the nest box today, but she's been laying pretty, pretty steady. She either lays a small egg or a big egg. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Usually, an unusually small egg won't hatch, and an extra big one won't. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, she was always a good producer most years, so. Hatched a lot from that pair. I kept them down below. That was pair number four, and they laid the best last year. So, uh, yeah. Before I uh, let me get this over with and write that damn name on that egg. <coughs> kind of dark in here. I write the hen's names on every egg. It says Peewee. It's a good name for her. I like that. Alright. Now, these are today's mountains. Mount Chick. There's 17 in there. They hatched uh, last night and this morning. I thought it was going to be a sluggish hatch. A couple got dried in the shell. I, I reached in, had to pop the lids open because they they were stuck. But uh, all the rest of them fired right out. Nice. So uh, every egg that was fertile hatched in this this little batch. So I was happy with that. I just filled the water. Now let's see, I've got some older ones. I burnt all their beaks back this morning. Um, yeah, happens every once in a while. And you get a dead one. And you probably get traumatized by me burning the beaks. So, I didn't like it. Yeah, I haven't lost many birds at all this year. But it happens, so I'm gonna show it. Show it right on film. The other guys won't do that. They'll act like they, they never lost a bird before. And, but, I say I think I can count on one one hand how many chicks I've lost this year. 
and I've got probably about 150 mountain chicks of different ages right now. So, yeah. you know, that, that's too bad though, Jesus Christ. But you got to do it because they'll they'll pick each other's toes right off. Yeah, they, these are only about three days old, but as soon as they lose that little egg tooth, that's when they start in, and and they this this bunch actually did. So. I spotted it right away, and I nipped it in the bud, but I guess it was a little too traumatic for this, this chick to, to, to be caught and have his beak burnt. And that sucks. I hate losing even one, but these older ones I, I did too. I had to do it with them, but these are going to be going in my biggest brooder in the garage. In a day or two, I gotta empty this one out. I'll change the feeder in a little bit. Just blow the shavings out of it. I gotta empty that one out and get this one going uh, because I've got uh, a Merns hatch going, and I want to keep the ones from the wild stock males separate from the ones of the Canadian and my original stock separate. Uh, I want to keep the two separate. So uh, yeah, so I got to have two separate brooders for those and I've got more mountains hatching every week. I've got uh, quite a few little batches in there still. So I'm shooting for that 200 mark and I think I'll get it unless I have some damn disaster. And, uh, ah, geez, that bothers me losing a little chick like that. I hate that. Um, but anyway, I'll go in the garage. I've got four brooders full in there, and I got the big one all cleaned out and ready for the, probably for that batch there. So, all right, I'll shut it off.